welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine and this is It's Just Christine. Today we're going to be planning uh, for the week of January 10th to the 16th. And I'm using these inserts from Sadie Stickers. And my planner is the A5 White Cloud in Succulent. I believe it's called Succulent. Yes. Anyways, um, for this week, I'm going to be planning with this beautiful kit from Simply Beautiful Plants, and it's called Yana's Winter Wonderland. So basically, this is a, co a collaboration between Amy, who owns Simply Beautiful Plants, and one of her PR girls, her name is Yana, and I actually know her personally, and she's an amazing person. So basically, here are the full boxes. Um... So Yana and Amy actually, they collaborated on this and I'm pretty sure like Yana is the one who kind of figured out the full boxes and where she wanted everything to go. And I think she did such a wonderful job with this. I especially love this full box here. Since you guys all know, or most of you guys know, I am a dog mom and I do have two dogs of my own. So therefore that box really does speak to me. Um, anyway, so here are her full boxes. This is the um, Monday through Sunday box. Habit trackers. We have some um, half cup, half boxes, quarter boxes. And some layering pieces here. The decos and some more boxes. And finally, the bottom washi and date covers. If you guys can tell, this is in silver foil. And I really, really love this like wintry scene right here. Um, I believe there's more to this kit. Give me a second. Here are the headers. And there are some more freebies that came along with the... Um, the kit and here are more of the page flags and some icons and the um weekend banner so since this is in gold foil i decided to pull out some of my silver sorry not gold foil silver foil i decided to pull out some of my silver decos so i have from different shops sadie stickers pretty pink co um, Christine's Paper Studio, more from Simply Beautiful Plants, uh, and I believe I have some from Miss and Meow and Honey Ink. Okay. I also decided to grab some of the freebies that I have here, just also in silver foil. And they're just freebies from different shops, which most of you guys know from because, you know, I use them a lot. And this is also a freebie from Simply Beautiful Plants that I got with this kit. And I think it goes very well with it. And so I'm going to be using this as well. Okay, so if you guys are interested in this, please stay tuned. Okay. So I'm going to be playing around with my sidebar again. Only because I do have the decos for this kit and I have a lot of things that I can work with. And if you get, if you guys are new here or if you guys are not new here, I have been playing around with my sidebar since the, well, the whole entire um, time um, of 2022 so far. You know, like I always watch like YouTube videos uh, with planners so like obviously I watch like I watch a lot of um Shantae plans um Rachel from gathered plans and also a lot of like my um like the people that I know like Alyssa from Alyssa well silver antler planning and Laura from Laura Lee plans like I I watch a lot a lot of like planner videos and I always see them doing like you know such really pretty stuff with their decos and their sidebars so I kind of want to play around with it and since we do have a lot of these really pretty decos might as well 
take a stab at it and see how it goes. That's the reason why the decos are there. So might as well use them to our advantage. There, I think that's pr pretty. So this um, circle, um, I don't know what it's called, but these circle deco thingies, they're from Dash of Sun Designs. I love her stuff. I love like her, the things that she has in her shops. Um, I really do want to buy some stuff from her. I bought like a, um, a kit from her last year and I really, really loved it. So I really do want to try to buy some stuff from her as well. But the thing is, she did just release a few of really pretty um like birthday party you know what this is gonna be crooked if i don't do this properly um i wanted to put some silver lines from dash of uh, sun design or skinny dividers i just want to put it here on top just to add a little kind of like foil I don't remember who I've seen do this, but I have seen it in like different, from different planners. So definitely not like, you know, like an original. Um, and I thought it just turned out so pretty. Mind you, these are like really skinny. So you just have to be careful with it. Uh, like, yeah, like, like I was saying, um, Dash of uh, Sun Design, she just came out with like two new kits and some uh, monthlies. I was going to purchase some of her stuff. However, the, the kit that she released, one was kind of like a birthday celebration kit, which as you guys know, well, maybe you guys don't know, but I don't really use birthday kits because my birthday lands like in December and I really do prefer to use um what do you call this like winter or christmas kits rather than birthday kits so that's really not something for me and also um another one that she released was a spring kit which is gorgeous like i love the colors and everything but i'm pretty much set with the the kits that i have for for this um spring so I, I didn't grab it either. But for the summer, I'm hoping that she does kind of come out with um, new ones with, in like for the summer. Regina, she opened her shop again. And of course, she has um, new stuff going on. And I kid you not, they are like all the kids that she came out is just gorgeous. Um, but like I've been trying to say like in my previous videos, I am kind of trying to branch out and use different kits. So I just used a, I just bought one kit from her and I'm really sad that I didn't get to buy like other kits, but it is what it is. I, I do want to be able to kind of like cater to different shops and like kind of try them out as well. So these ones just kind of like, I don't know if you guys can see, they just go a little bit on top, but I can always just, I can always um, cut them once I'm done planning. Yeah, so Regina did come out with a lot of new um, kits. She also came out with a lot of journaling kits, which I love. So I, I think she came out with like, six and i bought like five out of six um the reason why i didn't buy the other one was because i actually don't know oh one of the um one of it was just a like one of the clip art was just a little tad too big for for the way that i use my journaling 
um, kits since I don't really do use them for like journaling journaling I use them for my book reviews it's I think it's a little bit too too big and I won't be able to write as many things as I want I'm just gonna put a washi here in between these two so give me a second I'm just gonna try to find something that would work okay so I took this kind of like grayish five millimeter um, bow from Simply Gilded. Um, there really isn't a lot of gray in this kit, but I think it would work. There is some some gray in like the full boxes. Um, I don't really have like an exact match of this um, blue in silver so i didn't really want to use that one because it's gonna super bother me and if i get anything bigger than a five millimeter i fear that my my full bottom washi is not going to fit so i'll just stick to this one and hopefully it will work for it it doesn't look that bad so far there you go Perfect. So I think that worked out pretty fine. Um, yeah, so for the week, um, this week actually, the week of the 10th to the, um, to the 10th to what day? <laughs> I'm so all over the place, the 16th. Um, this week was actually a very, very quiet week. Um, I got sick. So... It wasn't a fun week and I didn't get to go to work. So it was even more, it was even less busier. Whoa, I guess this extends longer. Well, I guess that would work out. Sorry, there you go. Yeah, so I didn't really do much for um this week we did take down christmas um christmas decorations yes we are those kinds of family that keeps their decorations forever but um so i am filipino if you guys don't know um and i am catholic so for us we do keep our tree until three kings so if you guys don't know like the story of the birth of Jesus, it's anyways, it's the whole, yeah, like the whole um, nativity and stuff like that. But for us, we don't take down the uh, Christmas tree until Three Kings, which is usually January 6th. And yes, I understand that this is the week of the, um, the 10th. To the 16th and yes i am also aware that the six has passed already <laughs> but you know like i don't like taking down the tree i don't like taking down the christmas tree because it just means that the season has ended and we are back to just winter so i try not to think about it and I try to kind of prolong it as much as I can. Unfortunately, it's just, it can't be, you know, ignored any further. So I had to take it down. Um, so I did wait as long as I could. And as long as my husband could let me wait. Because he would prefer that the Christmas tree is out until like you know it's out only until like the sixth and then after the sixth he kind of wants it gone but you know a few days not bad yeah so i was sick but i did you know like i still was able to take down the christmas tree no big deal um and yeah that that's basically everything that i did for um that week to be honest that was the highlight of my life 
for that week was taking down the tree, sadly enough. Um, I also found out that Bob's Burgers season 11 came out. Is this season 11 or season 12? So Bob's Burger, if you guys don't know, is on Disney+. Plus. So if you guys have Disney+, Plus and you guys have always wanted to try watching um, um, Bob's Burger, definitely, you know, check the, um, the, the Disney+, Plus because it's there. So I was able to watch it and... I love, I love Bob's Burger. Um, I've always been a fan of The Simpsons. Simpsons, hands down, is one of my favorite shows. Yes, I admit, I don't watch it as much as I used to when I was a kid. Only because I kind of prefer like the old Simpsons better than the new ones. The new ones are kind of getting a little bit tiring. Um... I haven't really watched any of the new episodes in in a while, actually, which is kind of sad because, you know, like I said, it is one of my favorite shows, especially growing up as, a, you know, when I was a kid. And yeah, it's it's kind of bittersweet that, you know, well, anyways, <laughs> Even The Simpsons is on Disney Plus. So everyone, FYI, guys, if you guys like Disney, I mean, like, if you guys like The Simpsons, it's on Disney Plus. But anyways, back to Bob's Burger. Um, it is on Bob's. Um, it is on Disney Plus. So if you guys want to watch it, definitely try it. Even just one episode. Just try one episode. See how you guys like it. See how you know. You kind of like if you guys like it, if you guys enjoy it. If you guys do like The Simpsons, I think you guys are really going to like Bob's Burger because it does have kind of like the same dynamic. It's like the kids are very family oriented, the family is family oriented, but with just a little twist of dry humor. And yeah, um, it's not like Family Guy or Cleveland Show. It's not as, I don't know, like Family Guy, I'm not a fan of. It is funny, but like I wouldn't recommend it for those people who has kids. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. And I've been kind of floating around looking at what I can do to this bottom part here. Um, I'm going to leave it for now and get back to it afterwards. So I'm just going to put down my um, full boxes and... I know the flowers here kind of kind of looks like, you know, like Christmas flowers. And yeah, I can see that. They kind of like they kind of look like like chrysanthemums or poncieras, but um it doesn't really bother me. I'll probably stick to the ones that's here. I'm not going to probably use the wreath. I really do love the dog, so I'm going to put it in the middle here on Tuesday so it's kind of like front and center I've always loved um Labradors or golden I don't know golden Labrador go golden retriever gosh yeah so that's a very cute picture okay so I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to use the headers from here or if I'm going to use a different header from also your Simply Beautiful Plants um I didn't really want to use the red, but then I feel like if I don't use the red, it's going to be too blue. So I think I'm going to use this darker-ish blue, grayish blue, and just stick to this one. Yeah, so as I was saying, um, I'm not a fan of Family Guy. I'm sorry to, for those who does, but I just find that their jokes are a little bit too... Like, I don't want to be like a wet blanket, but they're a little bit too much sometimes. And I don't know. Like, a lot of people do like um, Family Guy, don't get me wrong. But I'm just not one of those people. 
Um, I really do like the, um, the, oh my gosh, Bob's Burgers. So I bitch watched that for that week. Um, what else do I like? Oh, I love The Great North. So if you guys, I don't know if it's on Netflix or on Disney Plus. I think it is on Disney Plus. I'm like 95% sure it's on Disney Plus. Um, it's called The Great North. So basically, it's a family who lives in Alaska and hilarious. Like, it's it's so funny. I It also has that kind of, like, sense of, like, um, family. But then at the same time, it was really, really hilarious. Like, it's... I guess I'm one of those people who likes dry humor <laughs> or something like that. But yeah, um, definitely try to check those two shows out because i kid you not i love it um i would like to say that louise is my favorite character but she's not i really really love tina like <laughs> she's so tina's 13 years old so she's really into like you know like that teenage like mentality where she's like thinking about boys all the time and stuff like that i'm not saying that kids only think about boys so please you know if anybody who's younger than 19 is watching this you know like <laughs> that's not what i'm what i mean but like that's what they're portraying tina as and it's for me it's hilarious like <laughs> Like, I don't remember being a teenager like that, but I could be wrong. <laughs> but yeah, I, I love that character. And then you have, um, so Tina's the oldest in the family. And then you have Jean, who's like the only um, male, male um, sibling, I guess, kid in the show. And he's really into like art and like music and stuff like that. And so he they he just gets into like a lot of like shenanigans. I think for this I don't remember because I watched the first eleven or first ten seasons, um like really like I think like last year or a year before. And I don't think that Jean was like very much a mama's boy until this season so that's i think they're gearing him or portraying him to be like more of a mama's boy and yeah it's just hilarious so and then you have louise who's the youngest and she basically wears a hat everywhere like she sleeps with a hat and stuff like that and she has an enemy and actually she's not an enemy it's an enemy yeah it's like um it's like her nemesis basically but yeah definitely guys watch it just one episode and then let me know if you guys like it or if you guys do like it let me know as well and we can totally you know talk about it but it's just one of those like shows that i really really do love um mind you like i don't watch a lot of like um I'm not a binge watcher of shows. I can take like one or two episodes. But I, I can't like sit and like watch a whole season. Like I can't, I can't do it. Like my husband could, but I just can't. But with, um, with this one, I could. Like I could literally watch the whole season. And not even be bothered by it. That's how, you know, that's how much I, I enjoy it. Um, I'm actually thinking of rewatching the whole season, if any, like the whole 12 season again. But we'll see. Um, what else? Yeah, so I'm always getting kind of like distracted with all the things that I, and when I talk, when I start talking, I get really distracted about other things. But yeah so for this um for this week that is basically everything that i did i took down the christmas tree i took down all the christmas decorations and i binge watched um bob's burger 
And that was basically the entirety of my week. It's not, it wasn't a busy week. I didn't really do anything. Mind you, I was like pretty much kind of like, it was like an on and off thing. Like one minute I feel okay, the next minute I wouldn't feel good. And then that Sunday, I actually had like a, like a, was it Sunday or Saturday? But like, I really had a high fever. Um, I've never had a fever higher than this one. So it was kind of like scary. But then at the same time, I was just like, what can I do? <laughs> um, yeah, so that is basically everything that happened that week. Um... It was, what else did I do that week? No, that's, that was pretty much it. It wasn't, it wasn't a very interesting week. I actually wasn't thinking of planning, um, like, you know, like video, doing a video for this week. But I really don't want you guys to miss out on this kit that Regina, not Regina, that Amy and Yana did together. Because I think it's so stinking cute and it's so perfect for, for this time of the year. Like, I know it's not Christmas specific and so therefore you could actually use it any, you know, like for a winter spread. But... When Yana was discussing this um, kit to, to me and like, you know, a bunch of our other planner friends, she was telling us on how she came up with the idea and she laid it out for Amy. And yeah, and I think like she literally put her heart and soul on this kit and it just turned out so pretty. So I just really wanted to kind of like show it to you guys. And I'm not sure if it's still in Amy's shop. It probably is. So if you guys still need more winter kits, or even if you guys need like a winter kit for next year, definitely try to check out um Simply Beautiful Simply Beautiful Plans. And you can grab this kit from her shop. And yeah. So like even though like this week was a bomb week. I am not going to like skip it because I'm just so in love with this kit. I don't even think this is the kit that I was supposed to be using for this week. But I kind of switched two kits around because of what happened the week, like after this week. And I'll be talking about that in my next plan with me. Because um, it was a crazy week after this one and i don't think people were prepared for the the day that happened and it would have been it's an eventful great my day cover just got stuck on top of this like i love premium matte paper but premium matte paper is a um a pain in the butt when they get stuck together okay so I'm gonna put this one down first because I kind of messed it up already and then just go from there yeah so the next week is like a crazy crazy week and I am uh... oh great Thank you for noticing that I put Thursday on the wrong day. Yeah. So, but I'm not going to say anything about it. I'm just going to plan it for or my next plan with me. And then hopefully you guys will remember how crazy it is. Anyways, here is the spread. And I think it turned out really, really amazing. Let me zoom you guys out. So Amy, Amy shop, Simply Beautiful Plants with Yana's um, incredible, sorry, that was a bug, incredible um, creative 
um, kit collaboration. I'm actually going to link the um, Yana's Instagram account down below. Definitely follow her. She has amazing pictures in her Insta account. So yeah, there you go. All right, so if you guys enjoy this plan with me, please don't forget to hit forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And as usual, I'm just going to put a clip at the end of this video of how this um, fully turned out with all my dirt dates and like all my things down for the days. Okay, thank you. Bye. Thank you.